Hello students, <clears throat> welcome to this lecture in which we're going to talk about the Jameer cipher and uh, a lot of times in mathematics something was created by one mathematician but later on it was attributed to another mathematician this is the case over here we have a wind engineer cipher that was created by Giovanni Battista de Lazo in 1553 but later on was attributed to Blaise de Vigneur and um, it should be French names so it should have this symbol over here uh, and um, <clears throat> what is the idea for the cipher? The idea to use keyword together with Caesar cipher and um, basically you have a keyword that um, you're going to shift by because in, in original Caesar cipher we have to shift the letters by the same number of units but here we're going to shift the letters by uh, the number of units that come from the keyword so let's look at the example and in this example we would have to do we have to encode encode the word attack by using a keyword and the keyword is fox So basically what we need to do is we're going to write our word attack and underneath we're going to use our keyword so we're going to write the word fox and so letter A we're going to shift by letter F and letter T we're going to shift by letter O, letter T we're going to shift by X, A we're going to shift by F, C we're going to shift by O, and K we're going to shift by X. So in order to do that we need to come up with an alphabet, so we have to write our um, alphabet over here. So this is our alphabet and um, we number it starting from zero like before. doing it here a little bit slow but that's okay so we have our numbering system and um, let's let's put it over here again So letter A, T, T, A, C, and K, letter F, O, O, uh, sorry, letter, letter X, F, O, and X. Then we take and uh, add these numbers together. So for A, we have zero then for f we have 5 uh, 
5, so we're going to add 0 and 5. And um, here on the bottom, we're going to get 5. And 5 is 5 is 5 if we use modular modular 26, right? Modular 26, that's what we need. So 5 will be encoded with F. Then we go to letter T over here. Letter T is, uh, letter T has encoding 19. So we put 19 over here. And letter O is encoded with 14. So we write 14 here. We add them together, so we're going to get 3 and 3. So we're going to get 33. But if we use modular arithmetic, we're going to get, we subtract 26, so we're going to get 7, right? And 7 is H. So we get F and H. Then for this T, we have 19. And for X, we have 23. So we add them together, we're going to get 2. And one goes over here, so it's 42. And uh, 42, if we use modular arithmetic, we subtract 26. So we're going to get 16. And if we uh, look up 16, we're going to get Q. We're going to get Q. The next is 0 and 5, so everything is the same as here, so we're going to get F. It's just coincidence because A and F just came out to be on the same positions. For C, we have 2. For O, we have 14. So it's going to be 16, and according to our modular arithmetic, it's still 16. So it goes all the way to the bottom, and 16 was Q. 16 was Q. And the last pair is K, which is 10, X, which is 23. So we get 33. We use modular arithmetic. We subtract 16. So we're going to get 7, and so we're going to get H. So what does it mean? Our word attacked will be encoded, will be uh, encoded, uh, encoded encoded uh, with with what? With F H Q F, Q, and H. And this is our encoding over here. So that's how it works. But f it's kind of tedious procedure because every ha time you have to add different number, you have to follow it by using the keyword. So a keyword you write underneath and you fill it in until you have spaces. But people came up with a little bit easier idea by using a table so we can use tables table and this is called vigineer table so how does it go it goes uh, it goes like this So if we take it and insert over here, this is our uh, Vigineer table. So what do we put on top? On top over here, we put, uh, so here we put letters, letters from the keyword.
and uh, on the side we put letters we put letters from the word being encoded from the word being encoded so we put them over here so let's try one more time so we have attack and we have word fox so someone already created this table for us again this word fox they go to um, they go over here so they go over here let's try so first letter we're going to use is letter F so we find letter F on the top this is our letter F and on the side we put letters from the word being encoded so we're using letter A so A goes over here and you look for the intersection so this is the letter that you need so this is letter F so that means the first letter is F but we knew that right then you're looking for letter O on the O on the top this is letter O on the top this one we already mentioned then letter T is is over here right so this is letter T and you look for the intersection uh, you look for the intersection so you're looking for the intersection this is letter H letter H next letter is X on the top so here it's over here this is X and the same T on the left side so we go down we continue going over here so we get letter Q then the next letter is F on the top and A but we already know the answer this is the answer already so just coincidence again so we're gonna get F then letter O on the top but C so C is over here so we're gonna get this letter O sorry letter Q uh, this is letter Q and the last is X and K so X is over here K is over here so uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get letter H so we put letter H over here so this is the table that we used for the encoding now the question is how we're going to decode how we're going to decode so how we're going to do decoding uh, unfortunately if you're just going to do decoding directly then you have to um, take a letter f h letters f h q f q and h and decode decode this message decode this message that was encoded by using Virginia cipher with the code word 
the code word fox. So we can do it directly. We can write f h uh, f h f h and uh, q f q and h. Then we can write fox. We can write fox. But unfortunately, for each letter over here, we have to create its own nabla, right? The nabla comes from delta, uh, which is actually not exactly right, but 26 minus delta. So you have to look up what f is, find its own delta for f. So f in the alphabet is... Uh, is over here, F is in the alphabet, it's over here. So it's gonna be five, so you can go here and then do four. For F, we have numeric value five, so the, <coughs> the nabla will be 26 minus five, so it's gonna be 21. It's going to be 21. So that means we're going to get 21 and 21 and, and, and do this out, right? So it's not going to work great. It's not going to work great. Um, so what should we do? This is a not, not a good way too hard. This is too hard. So use the engineer table for decoding. The engineer table for decoding. So we're going to insert the table one more time. Uh, I'm gonna insert the table one more time. So on the left, this will be our letters, letters for the answer. And I'll explain in a second what it means. Right. Here on top will be letters from the code warp. So from the code word. And here in the middle, here in the middle, we're gonna put letters from the word being decoded. So let's try it, let's try it. So we have F, H, Q, F, Q, H, and we have Fox. All right. So let's try to decode it. Let's try to decode it. So we go on the top. So we put letter fo F on the top and gonna put F on the top. Then we scroll down, then we scroll down uh, until we see letter F in the middle. You see here we put letters from the word being encoded. So this F 
we have to find in the middle of the table and then we scroll to the left and so letter A is our answer so we write A over here then we repeat the procedure we look for this O on the top it is O on the top then letter H in the middle so we go down go down go down go down go down here is H over here and then we scroll to the left so we see letter T see letter T over here so we put letter T then X on the top is here we found this letter we're looking for Q we're looking for Q so we scroll down scroll down scroll down until we until we see Q we see Q so it goes the same way to T so we put T then F and F already we know that's going to be A and then letter Q on the top letter Q on the top oh sorry mistake not letter Q on the top but letter O on the top and Q in the middle so we go down until we see Q here's Q We're going to the left we see letter C then X on the top and we scroll until we see H here is H we scroll to the left we see letter K, K. So we say K and we decoded our word back. And that's how we junior cipher works. Usually people use tables. You can do individual editions, but um, <clears throat> it, it will work fine. It will work fine. So that concludes this lecture and uh, I'll see you in the next one.